guys, welcome to another episode of Iconic TV. Today we're looking at the Silverstone Raven R02 case. Uh, the first thing to notice about this case is the shape. If you could come around, um, you'll see that the case is not square. It's, a, it's actually a rectangle shape. Um, but we'll go into the details why it is actually a rectangle case and why it looks so different to normal cases in just a minute. Um, so the side panel's got a normal uh, Perspex window. It's actually a very nice size window. You can see the hardware through there 100%. What I find a lot of cases do have a window that's maybe too big or too small, but this case has a really great size uh, window. Um, it has nice little feet to it. Some cases do not even have feet, so it's anti-vibration feet, so it really is nice to have. If we go to the front here, we have um, the standard five-point uh, quarter-inch base and um, a little logo at the bottom there, which looks really nice. Um, I love the whole black matte finish. Uh, this, this top part is plastic and this uh, part is also plastic, but it has a real solid feel to it. It doesn't have like a, like a plasticky feel. You can see you get some good value here. Um, the sides are made of heavy-duty steel. There's no aluminium here, which I prefer. It's heavy-duty, it doesn't scratch easily or bend easily. Um, if we can come over the top here, this is where all this, the air would be coming out, and um, we'll talk about that just now, but it's got a really nice design to it, I feel. Um, the whole, like a bullet kind of look to it, it's really good looking. Um, and here would be your LED lights and your, all that kind of stuff, your HDD lights, all that stuff like that. The other side has no, um, if we could come across, this is plain matte black look to it, really slick looking with the little silver stone logo on the corner there. Um, let's go into having a look how the case works and why is this case so unique to other cases because it really is something special this case really. So let's have a look. Let's pop it open here, um, which you will be doing a lot if you had to buy this case but we'll discuss this now. And um, what we did do is that we um, we built the whole, we, well, we didn't build the whole machine, we just built um, the board into the machine to give you an indication of how the cooling in this case works. It's not. It's unique and hard work, so we, had, we felt that we needed to put the, the machine there to indicate that. If you can see immediately, um, the way the board is, it's not the normal with the board facing this way. It's 90 degrees stri facing straight up. How that works is that these three 180 millimeter fans, I repeat, 180 millimeter fans are, are pushing air up. So it's all about physics really. The hot air is going to rise and that's, that's the whole concept behind this case. And that also explains why its design is like this. It's rectangular design. So if you had to buy this case and you had to take it to a land, I promise you, you will stand out with this case. Um, the one thing I want to comment on when I was building this machine is that it is a pain to build. It's not something that you'll be used to because of its, the, the way you have to put the board in 90 degrees. And the power supply also has to be 90 degrees as you can see. Um, but once it's built, you can see the benefits of it immediately. And what's going to happen here is that it, when your graphics cards are slotted in there, the heat's going to come through the cards and, and disperse through the exhaust fan of the graphics card. And the same with the process. The process, the heat's going to come through here. We have the fan that's going to suck it in through there and then out right through. Can you see? And, and this fan is p uh, placed perfectly for the disperse of um, heat. It's actually really really is effective if you looked at it right now. I mean I've never seen a case like this besides the sort of stuff. Um, but like I just want to comment on a few things I do dislike about this case. Um, it only has space for three um, hard drives, that's 3.5 inch hard drives. I'm going to talk about solid state drives now. Um, so if you want to have a lot of drives in your case then this is not the case for you. Uh, it has space for five, uh, five and a quarter inch uh, optical drives or any other drives that take up those bays. Um, but so that is also fine. I don't understand why they didn't maybe make three optical drive places and maybe two extra um, hard drive bays, but, but we, that's the design that they chose to go with. Uh, if we could go around the back, I'm going to open up the back panel here, where it is actually very exciting. So if you're running the solid state drive as your primary drive and you're looking at this case, um, this is definitely the case to get. Uh, what it comes with is a, is a solid state drive um, bracket, which you can just print the side of your, your um, 5.25 inch uh, base and you can see it gets used over there. And it looks really, really slick. I mean, you can even maybe 
if you can move it down, you can maybe fit two in there, I'm not sure. But like, it looks really clean looking and I love how they've done that, you know. Like, I myself, I use a primary solid state drive. So if I can have the solid state drive away from my other drives, it's, it makes perfect sense to me. What's also nice is lots of holes behind the board, like there and over there and up there. And that really keeps the cable management clean. As you can see, we're able to keep the cables relatively clean. Um, so cable management here, yeah, and there we go. Clean looking case. If we go back to the inside of the case, um, yeah, if it's the same story, very clean looking. What we're gonna do now is um, put some cards in here and finish this machine up, and we'll power it up to give you an indication of what the sound is like. Is this case noisy? And um, and all that other good stuff. Uh, here's the Raven R02 setup built. Um, I just wanted to give you guys an indication of what the sound is like and how does it look. Um, so let's have a look. First thing you notice is that it has really good looking uh, blue LED fans at the bottom. And um, a nice little blue LED fan that's coming out through the top. Uh, I find the finished look of this case really, really stunning looking. I mean, really good looking. So let's just pop this off to give you an indication of how this works. Um, as you can see, we had to plug the power supply cable through here. So all your cables are going to come through this section over here. Um, so it's not what I, what, what I do worry about is that if you're going to be going to a lot of land, you're going to be taking this on and off a lot of times. And I worry about the wear and tear of this. These mm -hmm. modern these modern pins. See, they're not steel; they're plastic. Um, so you need to take into account if you're going to a lot of land and you think you're going to be taking your machine everywhere. Remember, every single time you put your machine down, you're going to have to clip this off and then clip that on again. So that's why I need to take into account. Um, but I really do love the finished look of this case. The fans, if, if I can just be quiet for a second, you can hear are relatively silent. It's not bad at all. Um, what we are missing, this is a, we got this straight from the factory. Uh, and it really is, a, it's missing the fan controllers. Each fan has their own controller here. But we're missing those buttons, unfortunately. So it could be set to highest or it could be set to lowest. So we don't really know, but um, whatever set is on, it's not really that loud, and um, it really is a pretty impressive looking case. If you're looking at buying this case, it retails for 1,669 Rand um, on our website. Um, so it's really, I would recommend this as a good buy. I would personally buy this case myself, but if I was looking to have more hard drives firstly, and uh, I was going to a lot of lands, then maybe I wouldn't consider buying this case. But other than that, this is a really fantastic product. Um, so, if you're interested, go onto the website and have a look at iconic.t.co.za.